In 1998, SynthTech's founder Paul Schreiber created the Moton Modular System. It was a system where you could buy kits or fully built modules and create your own Moog style modular system in the 5U format. Shortly after the company was formed, I started buying modules and putting together my own 5U system. And today I'd like to do a filter comparison of four of the modules I bought and put into my system. First we have the Motom 410 Triple Resonant Filter. This module is based on the filter structure of the Korg PS3100 and it uses the same vintage Vactoral resistors as found in that synth and gives it a really nice smooth liquid filter sound. Let's give it a listen. Next up we have the MOTM 480 uh, CS80 resonant filter and this is modeled after the filter that you'd find inside the Yamaha CS80. One of the things I like about this filter is the cascading um, filter architecture where the high pass filter cascades into the low pass filter. So with the low pass filter output you can actually adjust uh, a high pass and resonance and a low pass and resonance uh, simultaneously which gives you a very rich sound. A lot of people like to use this on brasses and strings and it gives a nice really nice character to the, the sound of the synth and the filter. Let's have a listen. Bye. 
Next up, we have the MOTM440 discrete low pass filter uh, with voltage controlled resonance. This filter is based on the SSM2040 IC and it's what you'd find in the Prophet 5 and it gives it a great uh, gnarly filter sound that I find really useful for electronic music and techno. Um, and it's got a very good low pass and resonance down low. So it's something it's it's got a lot of grit and the resonance also self oscillates if you want to get into some really uh, crazy, crazy sounds with the resonance. Let's have a listen. Finally, we have a really versatile filter, the MOTM420 voltage controlled filter. This is a filter you'd find in the MS20, the Korg MS20, and it's a very, very versatile filter. Um, it's got switchable low pass, band pass, and high pass. It gives a great cutting sound that you'd use in electronic music. It's a sound you've heard before, very, very common filter sound it's one that i go to a lot uh the, the ms20 filter sounds amazing so let's have a listen mm -hmm. 